Hey, how's it going? Today's question comes from Eduardo and he's asking if I could talk about instant gratification and how it affects our spending habits and our financial goals. Welcome to the Till Boadella Show, where I show you how to create the freedom and lifestyle you truly desire. Tune in every day and get real life strategies to grow your own business, hack your life and get more done in less time. Subscribe to the show and add Till Boadella on Snapchat. So Eduardo, basically I like to think about everything from a perspective of ROI or return on investment. So everything you do has an ROI, a return on investment. If you feel like eating chocolate and you eat chocolate, then that has an ROI. If you smoke cigarettes, that has an ROI. If you spend a lot of money consuming stuff you don't really need, that has an ROI. And a lot of the stuff most people do, right? The majority of the population has a negative ROI. If it wouldn't make people feel great, obviously they wouldn't do it, right? No one does stuff that has no instant gratification and no long-term gratification. Most people don't do that, but most people do stuff that feels great in the moment, that has instant gratification, but has a negative ROI. For example, if you smoke every day, then you feel great when you smoke, right? Because you are addicted to nicotine. Nicotine gives you that little boost in neurotransmitters, it boosts your serotonin and you feel really great and stimulated and awake and just happy for a couple of moments and then it stops and you fall back to a lower level and then you need the next cigarette to get that little high. And the ROI of that instant gratification is negative, right? Because over time your fitness declines, you can't go running, right? You're gonna notice that your endurance is a lot less, you might get lung cancer, you might be coughing all the time, and you might have lost control, you might feel addicted and powerless. That is all stuff that comes long term if you're a smoker, right? It has a negative ROI. Now, eating sugar, let's talk about that. It feels great in the moment, right? But what's the ROI of that? What's the ROI of eating sugar? Well, you might become obese, you might get diabetes down the road, you might get heart disease, strokes, you might not have a lot of energy and focus. So the ROI is negative. Now what's the ROI of me shooting these videos? Is it positive or negative? Now in the moment I might not feel like shooting the videos, right? I have days where I don't want to shoot these videos but I still do it because I understand the ROI of these videos. Me shooting these videos actually attracts people to my channel, it builds my personal brand, I get clients and in the end it grows my business. So the ROI of shooting these videos is huge. So obviously because I understand the ROI balance here, I will ditch the instant gratification, I will do the work, I will shoot the video even if I don't feel like it because I understand this huge ripple effect, this long tail of ROI that comes from it, all the good stuff that comes from it. Everything that you do in life, your personal habits, your health habits, your financial habits, anything right in any area of life has an ROI and to actually get control over your life and really improve your life and change your life, you have to first understand the ROI of everything you do. Most people, they have no control over their lives because they simply don't understand ROI. They, they're like, you know, little zombies basically, oh give me that sugar or <laughs> rather give me that cigarette, let's drink some alcohol, let's eat some sugar and it feels great in the moment but they never really understand or analyze the ROI of their behavior and if they did and if they truly understood it, it would be much easier to change that behavior. When it comes to finances, it's no different, 
right? If you consume stuff just because you like it, because it gives you that little high, because it makes you feel great, if you consume for your personal consumption instead of investing in stuff that has a positive ROI, then you're going to lose money. For example, if you go shopping and you see a bunch of stuff that you like, that makes you feel great, it makes you feel like you're going to look great, it's going to give you status, right? But it's actually decreasing in value over time. It's not going to make you any money. It's going to make you feel great maybe for a week, maybe for two weeks, and then it's not going to cut it anymore then that has a negative ROI. You don't get the same high of wearing that stuff, right? Maybe it's a watch, maybe it looks cool, makes you feel great in the moment, but it's gonna decrease in value. Even if you sell it, you're not gonna make the money back and it just doesn't make you feel great anymore. So what's the ROI of spending money on personal consumption? It's usually very low. Now sometimes, you know, that's different. If you're getting engaged, for example, an engagement ring can have a huge ROI. It's basically something for personal consumption, but it's like an investment in your relationship, into a really happy moment, you know. So you have to really think about the ROI on all levels. And sometimes stuff can have a, an ROI that outweighs the negative effects. For example, drinking every day or smoking every day obviously has a negative ROI. But if you are like me and you have friends all around the world and every once in a while only you, you meet those friends and meet up and then in some cases it can have a positive ROI to have a smoke every once in a while and to drink some alcohol, right? I don't drink or smoke on a daily basis, but every once in a while, every couple of months, you know, I'll smoke and I'll have a couple of drinks. And the ROI of that is great because it allows me to bond with friends. Uh, we have great moments, you know, it makes you somehow have awesome nights and that can have a positive ROI and outweigh the, the negative effects of smoking and drinking because it's not done daily but only as an event, not as a lifestyle that's happening every single day. It was my girlfriend's birthday a couple months ago and we went to a spa, invested a couple hundred dollars. That is for personal consumption, but at the same time it is for recreation, it is to recharge batteries and then the ROI of that can be huge because then I can focus better, I can work harder, I'm refreshed, I'm more clear and that's going to have a positive impact on my business. So. In general, as a general rule, try avoiding spending money for personal consumption. Don't buy expensive shit like watches, cars, clothing, stuff like that. Just don't do it, right? It's not going to have a positive ROI. Instead, invest in stuff that is going to have a positive ROI. So stop spending for personal consumption. Start investing. Investing means something's going to have a positive ROI in general or is expected or hoped to have a positive ROI, right? If you invest into real estate, you're not going to invest hoping that you're going to lose money. You're going to invest because you hope it's going to have a positive ROI, that your money is going to multiply. For example, I'm about to buy a bunch of new video equipment for around 3K or 4K, maybe even 5K, right? And that seems like a lot of money to some of you and even to me, right? I would never spend 5K on video equipment if it were just for personal consumption. But because I'm using video a lot in my business, because I have a very visual personal brand, investing 5K in video equipment and video gear is actually gonna have a huge ROI, right? The personal brand value, the community I can build with that, the rapport I can build, the quality I can create with that equipment is going to have such a positive ROI in my business that those 5k 
literally don't matter. It's like, it doesn't matter, right? It's tiny compared to the benefits of having that equipment. So invest in yourself, but not for personal consumption. Invest in trainings, in books, self-education. Invest in mentors. Invest in anything that's going to help your business, that is going to help you make more money. Invest in stuff like ClickFunnels, Shopify, right? Those should have a positive ROI because those are tools that help you make money. Invest in equipment that is going to help you, right? You're going to build a business that is going to be centered around a personal brand. Then why not invest 500 bucks or 1K into a good camera? The camera I'm using right now cost me 999 bucks. I bought it in 2012. I maxed out my credit card back then and it has made me hundreds of thousands of dollars since using it. I've used it in multiple businesses. I even used it in my very first business where I was selling music to artists, right? My first e-commerce business called Direct Beats. You can actually check it out at directbeats.com with an A, not with an E, direct. And I was using video all the time. I was actually doing video blogs back then, 2012 and 13. I was also recording sales video with this camera. Those sales videos sold a lot of beats back then. Um, so this camera has made me a lot more than 999 bucks. As I said, this camera has made me hundreds of thousands of dollars. So what is the ROI of this camera? 999 bucks. Seems like a lot of money, right? And it is. If you use it for personal consumption, if it's just a toy that's not going to have a positive ROI, then it's just going to lose in value. The camera is not going to become more valuable and you're not using it to make more money. So there's no positive ROI. If it's just a toy, um, you know, think about it. Now, if you're somehow depressed and you have some mental health problems and getting a camera is a way for you to, I don't know, express yourself or have some more fun in your life, then the ROI could be positive again. So again, you have to kind of look at the benefits and downsides and look at it from your perspective. It's all relative. ROI is relative to your situation. There's no absolute way of telling if something has a positive or negative ROI, except for, you know, smoking crack. If you don't understand ROI, you can't make decisions. You're just going to be a slave of your instant gratification. But if you understand and value the ROI of everything, then you gain control. You aren't a slave of your instant gratification, but you can make decisions about your life that have positive long-term consequences. And that's what it's all about. <music>